Just like women, men also want to sometimes um, reduce aging or just slow it down a little bit. Things that happen in men are similar but yet a little bit different than women. Um, fillers can help when there is descent or um, lack of volume in a certain area like fat loss. Um, Botox can help when there's an overactive muscle if you're trying to lift the brows a little bit or just lifting the um, heaviness of the face with uh, fillers or even with Botox, that's helpful. Threads are helpful where we can place threads under the skin and pull so that you get a little bit of a lifting effect um, in, in the face. Now, the uh, application of these products is gonna be a little bit different for men versus men, women. We don't wanna have a very high arch in men. We wanna have um, maybe more of a, of a pulling back um, when it comes to the brows in men um, compared to women. And same thing with fillers. You don't wanna create high cheekbones. Um, and so the positioning of the fillers and the Botox might be a little bit different. However, um, they're all indicated as well as skincare. Um, so skincare in terms of uh, increasing the speed of turnover of cells. As we age, cells tend to shed slower and so new um, new skin grows out slower as well. So um, the skin appears dull. When you use retinol pro retinoid products, whether it's retinol or retin-A, tretinoic acid, those um, products can help uh, speed up the process of the skin cycle so that you shed and you get new skin growing out. Things that are antioxidants, those help to um, decrease the amount of damage from our daily environment, toxins that are in the air. Sunscreen is always helpful to reduce damage from the sun. It also helps protect against cancer and um, growth factors also help in rejuvenating the face. So um, just as much as women uh, tend to take care of their skin, men can actually benefit from using these products as well.